It slid. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Casey. I'm so excited for the fun video today. Now you might be guessing, why am I here in this kitchen? It's because today I'm finally making mom's special little pizza. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Please like this video and smash that subscribe button. And press the notification bell so that you guys will be notified and be the first to watch newly posted videos like this. And if you're already done with that, then let's start preparing the lumpia. So here are the ingredients. Over here, we need one kilo of ground pork. But if you're on a diet, just get lean and air fry it. And then one full onion and also garlic. You need one full bulb. And then you also need a medium-sized carrot, two eggs, and of course, kinchai or Chinese celery. You can find this in any Asian store. You know, this has a really, really strong taste and smell. You can opt it out if you don't want it. But if you really want the same taste as like what mom makes, then you really need to follow the recipe that we have over here. That really tastes good, really, to be honest. And then lastly, we also have one half teaspoon of salt, and then we have soy sauce, 50 ml. Now, I'm not speaking of any other soy sauce, but it needs to be this one, nor original, liquid seasoning. Why? Because this is the one that makes the taste so distinct. Like, this is the one that makes the real taste my mom makes. If you wanna make the same thing, you get the same thing. You can find this thing in like any Asian store. Just like, this is actually a Filipino brand. I'm not advertising, but I'm just saying, it's really, really good. If you really want to copy my mom's recipe, then you need to find that exact one. Alrighty, now that we have everything prepared, let's go chop everything up, and then eventually we can start cooking. So for reference, you need one cup of kinchai or Chinese celery, and you need a medium size of carrot, and then you need onion and garlic, one whole bulb, and then two eggs. Next, you need one kilo of ground pork, 50 ml of soy sauce, and then one half teaspoon of salt. Okay, and now we can start mixing. So first, we'll go ahead with the red onion. Place it here on the side. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> and then we can start with the garlic as well. Wow, this is so colorful. And then we also have, of course, the Chinese celery. Put that here on the side. Wow, ingredients are perfect. Four sides for the perfect four ingredients. Then, wow, it's really nice colored carrots. Eggs, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it slid. <laughs> and we can spread the soy sauce. This looks like the bim bop. And we have the salt as well. a bit saltier, it's up to you if you want to add more soy sauce or salt. And now we can start mixing. So you need something like this, a big fork and a big spoon, or whatever this is called. Okay, let's mix. Ooh. Goodbye to the nice organized form of it a while ago. <laughs> now at least we have everything mixed and it smells really good. Ah, I think I'm mixing this too slow. It's a bit hard to mix it because you need muscles to mix everything in, so I let Daddy do it. Now, it looks really good. Look at, look at how that is spread out so even. Oh, the smell! A while ago, you just had a um, smell of one different thing, and now they're all put together. It's amazing! <laughs> okay, so we're already done mixing and now we can wrap our ground pork in spring roll wrappers. So over here, I have a big one and two small ones. I'm going to use the small circular one because it's already soft and these two are still frozen. Now you can buy these wrappers in any local Asian store and they could be of any brand and any size as long as they're egg roll wrappers. Also while wrapping, you're gonna need a fork to position the mixture into the wrapper. Of course, because you need to enclose the wrap, you're gonna need egg whites because it's going to be the glue. All right then, let's start with the mixture. I meant the wrapping. I am so excited because after this, we can finally fry them. They're gonna be so 
still crunchy. Okay, let's wrap them. Now we get our wrapper and then place it down. Okay, once we have that, we're gonna get one spoon. Yeah, that's good. And then you, you put that in the middle. Now you're gonna position that, make it look long. Make it this kind of shape. So something like this. Don't make it too fat. I guess that's good. So once you have it in the middle and it's already even, try um, spreading to the edges as well. Then once you think you have the right amount, you can start wrapping. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so you wrap it like this. Not like that, it's wrong. Okay, so you do like that. Then you try making that circular shape over here. So let's go build that. Okay, so once you already have that circular form, you can already start rolling that. And only gently on the sides. Okay, and then you're gonna leave only a little bit of space and then you go get your egg white and that's gonna be the glue. And then later we're gonna close that up. So once you think this area is already good and wet, you're gonna close that. And there, you're gonna press on it just a little bit. And that's good. You already have the roll. It's nice. And then so that it sticks a lot more, you're gonna make it rest there. It's gonna stay in that position. So there, later when you fry it, it's going to be really enclosed. It's gonna be a good lumpia. <laughs> and that's how you roll it. All right, let's just do a few more and then later we can start frying. So we're done with the first batch and I did two kinds of folds. Once we're in, you fold the sides and then you roll them or you just roll, <laughs> like what I did at first. So here I have the pan and I'm going to start frying. Okay, let's put two at a time. <gasps> let's put some more in. Okay, okay. Mm. <laughs> 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 you put all the tiny ones in first. <laughs> so you can cook a lot at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun but scary at the same time. So I'll wait for them to cook. And we just wait until they're all gold. Mm. Oh, this one's getting its gold color already. Well, I guess we'll still wait. Ah, the smell. Okay, I'm done with the last one. Look at that gold color. Ooh, let the oil drip. <laughs> and we place it with its friends. Yee. Mm, that looks so good. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to eat this first batch now because I don't want to keep you waiting. I'll let my mom cook the rest of these, but now I'm going to do ASMR and eat all of this with a special guest. Come here, Rita! Hi! All right, it looks so good. Also, we're going to have some sauce. It says sweet chili sauce, but you know it's not that spicy even though it says chili, so I'm gonna eat some anyways. I think this is the one that I ate the last time. Now let's start the ASMR. <laughs> Dip it here. Okay, look at that. <laughs> so good. Golden look, golden taste. Mm. So while we're reading, I'm gonna read a comment. So I'm only gonna pick one. Aha! Okay, I got one. So this one is from Emma Go. Casey, I hope your family is doing great in this pandemic. I hope COVID-19 is gone. I hope you stay healthy and be brave. Don't be scared. I know the pandemic makes us feel sick or even we can't go out just to buy some foods. And I really enjoy it. You're the best YouTuber ever. I watched you since I was four. Now I am eight. I hope you still be happy in this pandemic. I hope you enjoy and send my request. And thank you so much. You grow up with me even though we are not in the same country or city. You're really the best and I want to give you an emoji, but I'm using a laptop. So I'll give you a smile. Oh, yes! Smiles and laptops are really nice. <laughs> thank you. And it says, thank you so much. I hope you read this request. Yes, I read your comment. Such a nice comment. It's, so nice. it's long and it's really meaningful. I'm also turning <laughs> eight. And wow, you spelled a lot of things there. I did not do that. It's like my school. Yeah. 
Thank you so much for this nice comment. I love you so much for being such a great fan. It's so nice. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Okay, so yeah, that's the um the end of this video. We were able to finally and successfully cook lumpia, our egg roll. <laughs> so yeah, that is the recipe that my mom has been treasuring for so long now, but she decided to share it with you guys worldwide. <laughs> Alrighty, so I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Please like this video, smash that subscribe button, and press that notification bell so that you guys will be notified and be the first to watch newly posted videos like this. We also have Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. My name there is Casey D. And my name is Rachel David. One, two, three. Yeah, so please follow us there. We love you guys so yes. much. Once again, see you on our next video. Bye! <laughs>